Planets and the Solar System by Patricia J. Murphy, illustrated by Beatrice Tinarelli. What is a planet? A large, round object in space that travels around a star. This is how was the solar system formed? No one was there to see it, but scientists have developed theories using the Hubble Space Telescope to guess how the planets may have formed. Billions of years ago, there was a giant cloud of dust and gas known as the Solar Nebula. This cloud collapsed in on itself and created a flat spinning disk. Most of the material collected together at the center of the disk and formed a star, the sun. The rest of the material in the disk began to stick together and grow larger and larger, and the planets were born. Our solar system has eight planets. Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. It is also the smallest planet. It's only a bit bigger than Earth's moon. Mercury's landscape is rocky and is covered with extinct volcanoes, flat plains, and craters. The temperature on Mercury is very hot, but it's not the hottest planet. Can you guess what is? This is what does orbit mean? Every planet in the solar system moving in a big oval path around the sun. This path is called an orbit. The amount of time it takes a planet to make one full orbit around the sun is a year for that planet. You can think of orbit like a car traveling around a racetrack. Did you figure out what the hottest planet was? It's Venus. Venus is the second planet from the sun. It is Earth's closest neighbor and about the same size as Earth, but the two planets are very different. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system. It can reach temperatures that are hot enough to melt metal. Venus is also the brightest planet in the sky. That's because it is coated in thick layers of clouds that reflect the bright rays of the sun. Hmm, what does rotation mean? While each planet is orbiting around the sun, it is also slowly spinning. This is called rotation. The amount of time it takes for a planet to complete one full rotation is one day on that planet. And you can think of rotation like a basketball spinning on a finger. Earth. Our home is planet Earth. It is the third planet from the sun. You are here. Earth is home to millions of different living things, including humans. There are 7.6 billion humans and counting who live on Earth. Earth is the only planet with liquid water. 70% of Earth's surface is covered by water. The other 30% is land. Earth is just the right distance from the sun to support life. It's not too close to be too hot. It's not too far to be too cold. Scientists call this the Goldilocks zone, just like Goldilocks and the three bears. Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun. Mars is sometimes called the red planet because of the rusty iron in its soil. Mars is a cold, dusty, and desert-like planet. It is covered with rough craters, tall mountains, deep valleys, and smooth plains. Mars has nearly the same length of day, changing seasons, and rocky surface as Earth. Scientists think Mars was once warmer, wetter, and more like Earth. It says between Mars and Jupiter, there is a ring of asteroids called the main asteroid belt. 
Asteroids are chunks of rock and metal that orbit around the sun. Scientists believe that the asteroid belt is made up of loose materials that never formed into planets. Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun and the largest planet in the solar system. Jupiter and Saturn are both gas giants. They are made of gases like hydrogen and helium. That means they do not have a solid surface like Earth, but may have a solid core somewhere inside. Jupiter has 79 known moons. Jupiter's largest moon is the biggest in the solar system. Jupiter has a large red spot. It is a giant storm that has been going for hundreds of years. Scientists call this storm the Great Red Spot. Well, that's easy to remember. Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun and the second largest planet in the solar system. Scientists think Saturn might have as many as 62 moons. Saturn's largest moon is bigger than Mercury. Saturn is known for its seven rings. They are made of hunks of ice and rock. Although there are other planets that have rings, Saturn's are the easiest to see. It says it's always storming on Jupiter and Saturn. These storms create many of the stripes and colors we see on their surfaces. Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun and has 13 faint rings. Uranus was the first planet discovered with the help of a telescope. At first, many people thought it was a comet or a star. A comet is a chunk of ice and dust that orbits around the sun. It is sometimes described as a dirty snowball. Uranus may be one smelly place. Scientists have discovered chemicals in the clouds of Uranus that have the same scent as rotten eggs. Neptune. Neptune is the eighth and furthest planet from the sun. It is more than 30 times farther from the sun than Earth. Neptune was the first planet discovered using math. Scientists guessed that there might be a planet farther out than Uranus and used math to guess where it might be. And they were right. It says Neptune is dark, cold, and windy. In fact, it's the windiest of all the planets. Uranus and Neptune are both ice giants. That is because they do not have solid surfaces and are made of very cold liquids and gases, including the gas methane, which gives them both their bluish colors. It says Uranus rotates backwards, vertically. It is actually orbiting through space on its side. What scientists know about the solar system is changing every day. For years, it was believed that there was a ninth planet called Pluto, but further research showed it was really a dwarf or small planet. What will they discover next? No one knows for sure, but they will need future scientists to help them explore planets near and far.